Good evening and bloody welcome to Summer Night Murder Mystery Sinking Island even though it's fall. So let's continue, it's been a while since I played last time. Uh, it's been quite a while actually. As you can see I haven't played since the 10th of October and today is the 2nd of uh, November. Uh, Jack Norm, using the photo of Walter Jones' face and Hubert and Nolan's testimony, is persuaded that Jones' death was not accidental but very much criminal. Thanks to several traces and material elements left around the death of Walter Jones, he was able to determine those present on the Turtles Belvedere on the evening of the crime by Ina Lorenzo and Hubert and Nolan. That night, Baina and Walter Jones fought and Baina is in all likelihood responsible for Jones's fall onto the rocky beach. The scratches, the fingernail and the tumultuous footprints around the Belvedere confirmed to Norm this hypothesis. The arrival of the coroner's report turns everything upside down. Walter Jones was killed by a gunshot, thus Baina seems to be innocent. By comparing the compatible calibers with the bullet that killed Jones and discovering the powder traces which show the rifle's recent use, Norm was able to establish that the crime weapon was a blazer carbine with telescope belonging to Walter Jones' very own collection. The shot was fired from the library window as proven by the shards of wood found on the windowsill which came from the crime weapon. This coincides perfectly with the autopsy report which establishes that the shot was fired from a great distance. Uh, if I sound a little tired, that is because I am tired. Uh, I have an exam this Friday, so I have been studying uh, uh, for that. Not all day, but but a long while. Uh, and it is pretty late now. It's past 10, so I should go to bed, but I feel like I want to play a little before I go to bed. So, the question is... What did I do last time? I don't remember. Uh, but let's talk to Lorenzo here. here. I won't further your investigation, Inspector, but tell me anyway. Uh, okay, so let's talk to him about his biathlon gold medal. Tell me, you have an impressive sports record, Mr. Battaglieri. You haven't completely lost your touch, I suppose. I don't like your question, Inspector. I can see what you're getting at, you know. You don't have to worry, if you have nothing to reproach yourself for. I admit that I was a very respectable shot in my youth. But the taste for weapons has now passed, you see. I recognize this. Did I load the wrong save file? Hmm, I have to investigate this, no pun intended, or maybe it was, uh, so... I'm sure I'll be back to ask for clarifications. Let's just, hmm, let's just see if I... Um, what button should I press? Um, menu. Load the game. I think that's the most recent save point. Yeah, it have to be the. Hmm. Don't say that I forgot to save 
the game last time I played. I might have forgot to save the game. Because I think that I recognize where I am. Hmm. Oh, oh, goody. I think that I might have forgot to save the game since I played it last time. Hmm. So, I might have. I'm not totally sure, but I might have forgot to save. Well, let's... Uh, no. Let's go back to the game. Resume. Because if I forgot to save the game... That is pretty unfortunate, but... Well, I just have to go from here if, um, if that is the case. And it might very well be. Well, let's talk uh, to Lorenzo and, clarify certain points. and talk to him about the other stuff here. If I believe what I'm told, you are a top-class shot. At any rate, with seabirds of the region. Those who mm. say that are slandering fools. Since then, I've lost my touch. I'd miss an elephant in a tunnel, Inspector. Yes, I do do seem to have played this part already. Do you know who in this tower knows how to use a gun? Apart from Walter Jones, I don't really know. Well, this is most unfortunate. Did you see anyone in the library the evening of the murder? You know perfectly well that I was not there, Norm. On the other hand, the computer ought to be able to tell us. All you have to do is ask it. But I have to know Mr. Jones's secret code. You understand, my boss didn't want cards assigned giving access to his office and his library without his consent. Do you have the code, Inspector? Nope. Sorry, but I don't have it. What a nuisance. Oh, but wait. I know that Jones hid the code in his desk. Unfortunately, I don't know precisely where. Mm hmm. I'll take note of it. Okay, so... Hmm... Yeah, I got the knife there. Damn it! I forgot to save. Well, this is most unfortunate. But I have to play through a large part of the game. And since I have already played uh, this part and you have watched it and, and all that, uh, there is no reason for me to, to record any longer. So uh, I'm gonna pause the recording here and see uh, where I left off in the previous episode and play to that point. Uh, but it, it is just boring uh, to watch what have already happened so therefore I won't record that and it is also boring for me to play through this part uh, which I have already been playing but it has to be done so so yeah I'm not gonna say much more now uh, because I am uh, just delaying the inevitable so 
when you see me next time I am hopefully at the place where I left off in the previous episode so yeah hold on and I will be right back So, I am back. Fortunately, I didn't have uh, much things to do. I only talked to Lorenzo and then I headed here and uh, collected that hidden document. So, uh, that is really good that I didn't have to play through a big chunk of the game because it is always boring to to play through a part that you have already played and it is even more boring to uh, listening to someone talk about how boring it is to play a game uh, to play a part of a game uh, again that you have already played uh, so as I said I am pretty tired so I am going to uh, cheat a little in this episode and consult a walkthrough because I am pretty lost as to what I need to do and to be honest I am pretty lost even with the uh, walkthrough uh, but anyway uh, I will try to solve one of the puzzle pieces now uh, and that is was the shame that Walter Jones were around his neck stolen if so by whom it's the puzzle piece that I am trying to solve. So I will need to go in the clues database. And I will need to have a print. Um, so I have actually printed out the walkthrough. Uh, not recently though, I did it some time, some, uh, a while ago. Um, so I am actually cheating very much now because I am reading straight from the walkthrough uh, on what parts I need to, to place here. Um, I think that I got most of the parts correct. Uh, facts of autopsy report. Yeah, I think it's that one. Uh, then I need picture of Nolan's print on Walter Jones' key. Hold your horses. Walter Jones key? I don't got Walter Jones key. Nah, I don't think I do. No, I, I don't have Walter Jones key yet. Hmm. Okay, so I need to find Walter Jones key. Uh, well, since I have started to sheet, I might as well continue doing so, uh, at least in this episode. So... I am. Um, hmm, I'm not very entertaining 
uh, well, I, I um, almost never entertaining actually, but uh, especially not now. Um, hmm, because I am sitting and reading the walkthrough, and I am trying to find where I can find the key. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I got it now. Uh, the safe that we found earlier. Um, I'm not sure if it was in the previous episode. I don't think it was. Uh, it must have been in some episode prior to that. Uh, let's run out of the library and head to the safe. And that is in Hubert and Nolan suite. In suite 151. And where might that be? Hmm. Let's go down to the 19th floor. And I am here. Uh, I have to check the characters database. Um, on floor 15. He is currently in the heliport lounges. I don't remember if we have talked to you but I think that we might have but since we are in the heliport lounges now let's see if we can find him and eventually talk to him if I haven't done so already I think that I might have talked to him actually um, he's not here though yeah I, I think that I might have talked to him already but just in case if I haven't let's run this way and see if we can find him there he is yeah we have already talked to him I remember that now but let's talk to him I need your assistance again, to just to clarify in case. certain points Oh, so we can talk to him about Walt Jones' file on his heirs. Hmm. Maybe I did this in the previous episode. I don't remember, but let's talk to him about that. Walter Jones was not fond of Clara. Walter Jones certainly asked me to find out about the chances of buying back Clara's father's consulting firm. I was supposed to advise Walter on the optimal moment to buy back the firm. At the best price, obviously. Okay. I think that Walter Jones was unfair to Christina. I find her rather pleasant. <laughs> Do you think like him that she's a gold digger without any scruples? After all, she could also have been interested in the estate. Walt Jones didn't handle people with kid gloves. And Christina Bromsky was no exception, Inspector. Walter knew that Christina was manipulative and scheming. He was also well informed of Christina's limits. I don't think she will succeed in diverting the estate for her profit despite her physical assets, which are obvious to the eyes. <laughs> I might dare say so. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, so Jack Norm gets it. Okay then, so I don't think that we got anything else to talk to you, but well, let's just talk to him just to in case. I points. have missed Excuse something. Me, I am no, distracted. I have. I have what so, I need. See you later. Let's head to the fifteenth floor then and uh, get to Hubert and Nolan safe because he got something in that safe that we need and 
now since I have cheated and looked on the walkthrough I know how we can gain access to the safe so let's go to the 15th floor and head into suite 151 if I recall correctly um, where's the safe now maybe it's in his bedroom yeah I think it is yeah there it is there we got the safe and let's take a look on it as you might recall uh, there is a, a key code that is needed to be input uh, in order to to unlock the safe I should guess that it is a four digit code but since we don't know the code uh, and we are also unable to to uh, press any of the buttons and I I know now why we couldn't gain access to to the safe and we got something in here that will get us into the safe without entering the uh, correct code I don't think that this is a, a proper way to investigate a, a crime scene uh, I don't think that this kind of uh, kind of uh, um, entering entrance, uh, this kind of uh, investigative uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I lost the word but uh, I, I don't think that this is uh, in Jack's uh, juris, jur, jurisdiction, jur, jurisdiction something like that uh, I don't think that he is allowed to do what we are about to do uh, so let's take this little pretty blowtorch right here as you can see it says a tool for cutting metal why didn't I think of this before I don't know but now I know what to do since I looked in the walkthrough so without any further ado let's uh, gain entrance to the safe <laughs> okay, that was easy. Uh, it opened up uh, real easy. And as you can see, there is a key in the safe. There isn't anything else in the safe though, but there is a key. So let's grab it. Let's grab it, I said. Damn it! Why can't I grab the key? It's welded shut, it seems. Uh, okay. I'm gonna consult the walkthrough again. Um, okay. It says... Uh... Okay, it says that I have to use the graphite powder on the key and then I have to take a photo of the key and then I have to take the key okay then um, 
So let's use the graphite powder and sprinkle it on the key. So now we got the print there, so let's take a picture of the uh, print. And now I can take the key. Um, okay then. I guess that makes sense because if Jack would have uh, taken the key right away then his prints would be on the key. But since Jack Norm is much smarter than what I am, uh, he didn't grab the key. Uh, but instead he sprinkled a graphite powder on the key to reveal a print and then take a photo of it. So now I can take the key. And I got a key there. As you can see, this is Walter Jones key. Uh, it is the key that WJ carried around his neck that someone pulled off it probably opened something that he owns so that might uh, make us uh, gain access to to his suite um, okay then so let's take a look on the print that we got uh, it's right over here I think there it is picture of print on Walter Jones key so let's place that right there as you can see I am missing something there at least one or two things So, what am I missing? Hmm, I'm not quite sure, but let's go to Walter Jones' suite. No, let's do like this first. Let's compare uh, the print on the key with, um, well, let's start with Baina's fingerprint. Incorrect no, match. it's not a match. So let's start from Bainas and go down. Since Hubert and Nolan had this key in his safe, uh, I think it's safe to say that the fingerprint on the key belongs to Hubert and Nolan. So yeah, let's compare it. And I think we will get a match. Correct match. Yeah. We did. Okay then. So as you can see the progress bar uh, filled up a little bit more, but I am still missing something. Perhaps I am missing a statement from Hubert and Nolan about why the key were in his safe. Hmm? Uh, should we go and talk to Hubert and Nolan again and ask? him about the key or should we head to Walter Jones suite and see if the key fits in the door to his suite or perhaps it unlocks the cabinet at his uh, desk in in Walter Jones office 
but I think that uh, Jack have stated that he couldn't find the keyhole to to that um, cabinet or those drawers um, so let's go to um, whichever floor that um, that uh, Walter Jones suite is on I think it's 17 or something like that <laughs> oops I had a slight hiccup there uh, well let's head to floor 7 no this is not right uh, I should go to the top floor then yeah that's right to 18th floor and go into the heliport lounges here and then head to I think I can go this way actually yeah I can so let's head into the elevator and head up to whatever floor uh, Walter Jones uh, suite is on I think it's on floor 20 What are you doing here Colio? Are you waiting for Walter Jones's ghost to open the door? Do not make fun of me Jack Norm Do you know how to enter? Yes Perhaps. Colio I have what it takes If I understand correctly you want to come in with me? What do you want to do in this apartment? Just like that Jack Norm. I want to see the chambers of old Jones. I was told it is a beautiful place with a lot of riches. So I want to see it. That is all. There is something fishy about Coolio. So he head straight around the corner there instead of just standing and looking at this beautiful apartment that is Walter Jones uh, that belonged to Walter Jones I should say uh, I think there is a safe there uh, if you are wondering, I am not looking on the walkthrough anymore, but I might consult to that again if I get stuck. Uh, because I I want to to finish this game, uh, not tonight of course, because uh, it is much too late for that, but in the near future I want to finish this game. Um, because I, I got a lot of schoolwork and stuff like that going on so I want to finish this game uh, as soon as possible so so that I can play other games later on and concentrate on my schoolwork and also I want to find out who killed Walter Jones. Uh, so it says Herak and Sons. I guess that is the uh, manufacturer of the uh, safe. So let's take a look here. Okay. I can't seem to do much here. Okay, so the blowtorch is gone. Uh, it worked so well last time. Uh, using the blowtorch to gain access to a safe. Uh, but 
that isn't an option that I can use in this case, but let's try the key. Ah, it worked! A billionaire with an empty safe is not very normal. What could Jones have been hiding in his safe to the point of wetting appetites to this extent? Why is the safe empty? That is a bit anticlimactic. Uh, hmm. Okay, so let's get rid of the key and see if we can press something. No. And there don't seem to be anything hidden in the safe. Maybe I can collect fingerprints. No, I don't seem like I am able Who to do that. Who could have opened this safe? Ah, I can take a picture. Yeah, 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 I, I, <laughs> I didn't notice that I managed to uh, use the graphite powder to uh, to reveal a fingerprint. Okay then, so uh, what did Walter Jones' safe contain? Is Nolan responsible for the theft? Uh, the progress score bar have filled up, so we are able to solve this puzzle piece now if I place the correct um, the correct clues that is hmm okay so uh, let's take a look on the comparing fingerprints Let's start with Baina's fingerprints and go from there. Incorrect. It's incorrect. Uh, Hubert and Nolan, perhaps. Yeah. Correct match. Nolan certainly left his imprints on the safe. Sonia didn't lie on this point. Okay, Sanya didn't lie on this point. I don't remember what Sanya said. But apparently she weren't lying. Um, maybe she said something about that. Yeah, I think that Sanya said that she saw um, uh, Hubert and Nolan steal some stuff from the safe uh, from uh, this uh, safe and uh, Sonia got a hold of uh, the papers and the documents that uh, Hubert and Nolan took from the safe uh, which now are in my position or in Jack's uh, possession um, I think that's what uh, he was talking about uh, okay so now we got a match um, hmm I need a declaration so Sonia is where is Sonia there she is uh, Uh, what did Walter Jones' safe contain? Ah, oh, here it is. Sonia explains the circumstances under which she stole the items from the safe. Yeah, so we must place that um, right there. Uh, okay, then we got Hubert and Nolan's testimony about the subject. Uh, 
Uh, Nolan confirms that he opened Walter Jones safe. I don't know what else I will have to place there. Uh, let's listen to his statement. Ha! Huh. Sonia Jones is an unscrupulous young woman with a lot of nerve. It's she who's the thief. It's she who took possession of the papers that I found in the safe. For I recognize that I took the documents that were in the safe, and I'm even proud of it. I thereby obeyed the orders of Walter Jones. I had to make myself familiar with his testamentary dispositions to fulfill his last wishes. And between us, Inspector, I was more than surprised that Walter Jones had finally decided to disinherit his whole family. Yes, very surprised. Okay, so that's what he said. Uh, what did Sonia say? Mm, here she is. Uh, number seven. There we go. Okay, Mr. Norm, I'll tell you everything. Around 11.30 p.m., Billy and I went down to go in search of our grandfather. We headed toward the elevator, and who did we see coming looking appalling, dirty, and soaked from head to toe? Herbert de Nolent in person. He furtively took the elevator. The indicator light told us that he stopped at the floor where my grandfather's apartment was. I told Billy I found this odd. So we took the elevator and followed Nolent. When we got off, we followed his muddy tracks all the way to my grandfather's room where we found the jerk rummaging through grandfather's safe. He was examining objects of the marriage ceremony that my batty grandfather had wanted to celebrate with that little slut of the island. Indeed, at that moment, I didn't yet know what Nolan had in his hands, but I pounced on him for an explanation, as you might suspect, Inspector. And he launched into smoky explanations while wriggling around like someone who was far from having a clean conscience. With all I saw, I didn't hesitate for a second, Mr. Norm. I tore the items that belonged to my grandfather from Nolan's hands, and I cleared out with Billy. Billy doesn't always have a clear head, especially after a certain point in the day, so I hid these items in my own things. I was sure that they would be safe there. Okay, so I think I need a testimony uh, or a declaration, as it says right over there, uh, from Billy. And that is Billy Jones right there. Okay, so yeah, let's place that. Uh, well, let's let's listen to it. I have nothing to hide. It's Nolan who stole the key to my grandfather's safe and all that the safe contained. I know this because I was there. Sonia and I had decided to go in search of the old man, and it was then that we saw Nolan come back to the tower. The guy was dripping wet. We were already puzzled, and even more so when we saw him take the elevator to my grandfather's floor. On the one hand, we were reassured because we were convinced that the old man was out of trouble in his apartment. And on the other hand, we were also puzzled by Nolan. What in the hell was he doing at such an unearthly hour at the old man's? So we decided to have a closer look. And that's how we discovered that the old man was not in and that Nolan was busy burgling his safe. The attorney was checking out a box to be used for my grandfather's marriage with the young native of the island. We found him, and Nolan panicked. He mumbled some bullshit. Needless to say, we didn't believe it for a second. My sister reacted very swiftly, and she took back the items from Nolan. If not, he would surely have swiped them. There you have the full story, Inspector. I simply accompanied my sister, Sonia. Yeah, uh, it comes back to me now. Uh, I think that uh, the wedding band were in the safe as well. Uh, so let's place that uh, declaration over there. And let's continue placing... Uh, hmm... Whatever we need to place, it is a material clue. 
uh, the wedding bands or the wedding rings let's place them as a declaration hmm turtle box perhaps yeah I think I will place the turtle box there and then we got two documents hmm uh, there is I think it is a document that I haven't read yet uh, that an observant friend told me um, but I don't remember which one it is, uh, so I will have to read that in an upcoming episode. Um, uh, but on to the pressing matter now. Uh, Walter Jones file on his heirs. I think now that is the one that I found hidden. Hmm. A letter from a Houston attorney. I have assigned you know, to place one. General. No, not that one. So I expect to know how the council is. That might be one of the documents that I need. Hmm. Annunciation. No. Wedding invitations. What is that? the speech will yeah so I think that I will place a speech there yeah let's see if we can solve this piece of the puzzle yeah what was in Walter Jones's safe is Nolan responsible for the theft? Sonia, with Nolan's help, stole Walter Jones and Baina's marriage articles. Reeves, the attorney and two heirs stole the objects in the safe. They wanted to stop the marriage ceremony between the old billionaire and the young Baina at all costs. A ceremony that could have happened post-mortem. I do think that in the eyes of some people, Baina is the enemy to be destroyed. Okay. Yeah. Estates stir up longings and spawn the worst baseness, my friend. But you do your job, Jack. Interrogate all these people thoroughly. I want that murderer, Jack. An automatic save game has been made. That is like uh, uh, music to my ears, but uh, <laughs> that is like a beautiful painting to my eyes, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, I hope that I won't forget to save the game again, but an automatic save file is pretty good. Uh, and speaking of which, I think that I have to end this episode here because it is pretty long now, uh, I think. So yeah, it is time to end this episode here and uh, well, we have made some progress. So in the next episode we will probably have to go round the corner right over here and see what uh, Coolio is up to and we have uh, to interrogate uh, some uh, some uh, suspects as well uh, but that is in the upcoming episode so uh, until next time thank you so much for watching and have a good night.